Hello everybody, good morning, welcome back to Domination Reading Channel's live morning podcast on the Sunday! Yay, Sunday! Hope everyone's doing good. Let's see, yeah, there we go, let's get our, our Sunday on there. I want to see the Sunday. There it is right there, boom! Middle of the screen. Boom, 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 Sunday! Woohoo! Alright, let's get the chat box put up there so everybody can see their chat. And let's start an awesome chat today. Awesome chat. We'll start with live stream because I know that's what everybody wants. And there is Cyber Cuber. Science, Science, Cuber, Cuber, Cuber. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Good morning, Science Cuber. How you doing? Welcome to this Sunday podcast. How's everything going today? <gasps> Sharangi made it. Hello, Sharangi. Good morning to you, too. Oh, we got more. We got more. Jazzy made it! Jazzy, Jazzy, Jazzy made it! Doing good, looking good so far! Got some sign cubers, charangis, some jazzies, a unicorn head! It's a good way to start. Let's go ahead and move this Sunday over a little bit for you guys. There you go. I know you want to be able to see what you're saying. I know you want that chat. And that's what you got. <laughs> Hello, Jazzy! So, guys, it's Sunday, another week. Allie, Allie made it to the Sunday. Woohoo, Allie, yay, Sunday. Woohoo. Oh, my goodness, guys. Oh, my goodness. What a day yesterday. What a day. How am I? I is good. I is good. <laughs> I gamed a lot yesterday. I gained like three hours with you guys and like eight hours on my own. It was a long day. Uh, Andre made it. Andre, welcome. Woo Good morning, Andre. I like it. Everybody showed up for the Sunday podcast. Feels good. Paul made it. Paul made it. Hey, Paul. Good morning. And Jay's like, hey, Paul. <laughs> Paul's been here for quite a few streams lately, too. Yeah, listen, Andre, everybody, happy Sunday. I like it. Woo woo, happy Sunday. Got a bunch of people, got some good music in the background. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so cold last night. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you what happened last night, okay? Let me tell you. Allie made it. Good morning, Allie. Yay. Woo, Allie on the Sunday. Yay. All right, let me tell you guys what happened, okay? A couple things contributed to my night last night, and it made it not such a good night. Let me tell you why. First off, first off, it says, damn, Dom, what? <laughs> what are you talking about, Sidekeeper? What's the matter? All the people showing up, it's because people are good on Sundays. I like it. Okay, so let me tell you what happened to my night. Let me, let me explain to you what a nightmare my night was and why, okay? First off, okay, first off, for lunch, okay, this is this is, this is the preemptive of what happened to last night. I was playing video games for lunchtime, okay, so I decided I'm going to order a sub sandwich from Jimmy John's, and I ordered a, a, uh, a roast beef sub, right? So I figured, hey, this is going to be a good lunch, Subway, or not Subway, uh, Jimmy John's uh, roast beef sub sandwich. And I feel I don't want to just send one sub. I might as well just have them have send them send two because it doesn't make any sense for someone to drive just to deliver one sub sandwich to someone's house. I feel kind of guilty, you know. So I went ahead and ordered a a turkey club. So it's turkey and roast beef. So I have two sandwiches, a drink, and a bag of chips coming. Right? Sounds good, right? I think it's good. And I'm thinking I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, eat one now and eat the other one for dinner. Two sub sandwiches is not a lot of food for one day. Now, that's true, unless you eat them at the same time. Uh, when you play video games, you get the munchies. You can't help it. You can't help it, okay? So I'm sitting there playing games, and I eat one sub, and it's gone before I know it. And I'm like, no! Where'd it go? And I reach for my drink, and I realize they didn't deliver my drink! I'm like, no, my drink! How do you not deliver a large root beer? How do you not realize you don't have a large root beer? So I call him up and like, hey! Hey, Alexa, stop interrupting my story. 
<laughs> so I call them up. I'm like, you guys forgot my giant root beer. I want my root beer. They're like, okay, we'll send it out. And I'm like, no, I don't want you to drive to my house just for a root beer. Ugh. I mean, it's not. I mean, it was bad enough having to drive for one sandwich. That's why I ordered two. So, anyways, I sit back down, play more video games, and I got munchies again. And I accidentally eat the other sub. Uh, how do you accidentally eat a sub sandwich? I don't know. I don't know how you accidentally eat a sub sandwich. Okay. <laughs> but by the time I'm licking the the mayonnaise off my fingers, I realize I ate both sub sandwiches. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no. Who eats two sub sandwiches at once? Roast beef sub sandwich on one and roast beef and turkey on the other. Who does this? <laughs> so I'm like, okay, fine. I just fasted like two days ago. It's okay. I'm not, it's fine. I just won't eat a dinner tonight. That, that was my dinner. I, I had dinner, lunch at the same time, okay? It was lunch, dinner. And so that's fine. Live my day. Live the best me I can live. Yada, yada, yada. Now, the thing is, is I fell asleep early last night. Because I'm a night shift worker. I'm not supposed to sleep at night. But I did. Caitlin made it. Good morning, Caitlin. How you doing? So, anyways. I fell asleep and I got heartburn last night. I don't know how I got heartburn from a freaking sub sandwich. But it wasn't the normal heartburn. It, it was a heartburn where, like, it hurts. Like, in my, in my esophagus. I'm like, ah. I felt like, like. Like a traumatized parrot just lying on the ground, like twitching. And so, and so I'm, I'm asleep. I accidentally fell asleep, and then I woke up to heartburn. That is a horrible feeling because you're laying there and you're like, "I need a tums so bad. I don't, but I'm in bed. I don't want to get up. No, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. It hurts." So I got up, got out of bed. Got a Tums, and then I'm like, okay, okay, everything's good, everything's chill, everything's fine, all right? And now I'm not sleepy anymore because the heartburn woke me up. So I'm like, okay, this night is going kind of weird. I don't like it. Let's make this night better. Let's make this night better. Let's see what's on Netflix. Let's see if there's anything good on Netflix that we can watch tonight. And uh, I turn on Netflix, and the first thing I see... They put out a new anime. I'm like, oh, hell no. A new anime? And what's the first thing you see? Blood. I'm like, ooh, what? What is this? What is this new bloody anime? What is this? So it's called, um, let me see. What is it called? I'll, I'll check it out for you guys really fast. It is called High Rise Invasion. And I'm like, what, what is, well, hold on a second. Let's see what High Rise Invasion's all about. And I'm, uh, I look and it's about um, some people in an alternate world on top of skyscrapers fighting to the death like a battle royale. And I'm like, what? Are you kidding? This might be all right. And then I'm just thinking, where's the best place to watch a new anime? While I realize I'm shivering. I'm like, oh my gosh, why is it so cold? What is this night? So um, I'm like, okay, let's let's uh let's do the best way to watch anime in the middle of the night while you're shivering. And I get inside the hot tub. Oh yeah, get inside the hot tub. I like it because outside my hot tub's outside, where it's freezing cold, but it's a hot tub, and the the, the uh, outside TV is of course outside. So I'm like, okay, let's do this. So I get outside. I get in the hot tub. By the way, love it. I mean, there's no feeling in the world like getting into a hot tub when it's 20 degrees outside. Uh, so, so okay, so my night is suddenly getting better. Suddenly getting better. I slip into the water. I turn on the TV outside. I turn on Netflix, and I start watching this incredibly bloody anime. I'm like, wow, Netflix, you have, you have seriously gone rogue. There is a lot of blood it's like about these people who are on top of a skyscraper and uh they wear masks and their purpose is to make other people commit suicide by jumping off the building or killing them if they don't and i'm like ooh, gruesome and so this is where things get weird okay on top of already just got done having heartburn kind of 
outside in the hot tub. Okay. Hey, Mechanical Gamer, nice to see ya! Woo! Welcome back to the Dominator Ninja Channel! So then, I'm watching this anime, and I fall asleep. <laughs> I was still tired! I was still tired! I had a full belly from two subs, and my heartburn was going away, and I'm in the hot tub, and I fell asleep, okay? It happens. Don't judge me. <laughs> Don't judge Domination Reading Channel! So, I'm to fall asleep in a hot tub. I realized at some point that I fell asleep in a hot tub. Because you know how you get that feeling like, where's my controller? Because I have dropped the controller in the water before and it ruins the controller. So I'm in the water and I'm sleeping and I wake up and I'm like, oh god, I hope I didn't drop the controller. No! And I didn't. But now I'm like, I don't want to sleep outside in the water. So, turn off the anime. I skipped like two episodes. I fell asleep through like two episodes. Shut the hot tub down, shut off the TV, get back inside. And I'm like, sitting on my sofa, and I'm like, okay. Do I want to watch more of this anime? Or do I want to play more games? And by now it's the middle of the night. Like, now it's like 2, 3 in the morning, right? And uh, my belly's still full. I don't know how it's still full, because it was like 12 hours since I had those two subs. But I'm telling you, when you accidentally eat a sub sandwich... When you accidentally eat a sub sandwich, it, your, your stomach stays full for a while. Okay? So I'm sitting there and I'm debating. Video games. Netflix. Or do I want to... Do I want to sneak in the kitchen and have a cheat day and grab myself a grilled cheese sandwich or something? So you know what? I'll tell you, there's something special. There's something special about it being 3 o'clock in the morning. Getting bread. Buttering one side of your bread putting it into the frying pan, listening to it sizzle, plopping on two thick slices of Velveeta cheese, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe being a little crazy and throwing on, like, a, a layer of ham or a layer of roast beef, then putting the other side back on and flipping that sandwich over until it's nice and crusty brown on both sides. That moment you feel when that's sitting in front of you and you bite into it, and that cheese just like, it's two slices, so it's a lot of cheese. You bite into that sandwich, and the cheese just like dribbles out, and it's like, oh, it's sweet, sweet melted Velveeta cheese. Oh, it's, that's, that's a feeling. That, that is a nice, nice feeling. Now, those are the three things I was thinking about. Mm -mm -mm. Apparently, somewhere along the lines of me thinking, video games, Netflix, or delicious, delicious Velveeta grilled cheese sandwich lightly toasted. I fell asleep. <laughs> I did. I fell asleep. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sitting on my sofa thinking about these three things and I fell asleep again. <laughs> how did I know I fell asleep? Well, here's how I found out. I woke up an hour later freezing my butt off. Like, legit, legit cold, okay? I, I I fell asleep on my sofa, and there's a blanket right there. But in my in my haste to fall asleep without realizing I fell asleep, I did a lot of accidents yesterday. Accidentally eating a sub sandwich. Accidentally falling asleep. Accidentally finding an anime. I, I, I fell, accidentally fell asleep. And did not pull the blanket over me. Uh, <laughs> So first time I woke up with heartburn. Second time I woke up cold because I didn't pull my blanket over me. <laughs> it was not a good night for Dom. And I'm like, what is going to make this night better? What could possibly make this night better? And I'm like, ooh, in an hour I get the live stream for my fans. woo -hoo! Sunday live stream. Yeah, baby. We get to do the Sunday stream and my day is suddenly better. That's right, spending my Sunday live stream with you guys. So even though last night was kind of a mix of what the heck happened, we are here live streaming together. How's that, everybody? How you like that? <laughs> and here we are. Here we are. But I'll tell you what, that was not my first culinary in experience of the weekend. I had another bad culinary experience Friday. Friday was, was unfortunate culinary Friday. 
I'm, I'm kind of sad about my Friday food experience. So I'm going to have to get my, my food experience together. <laughs> my, my Dunday live stream. <laughs> Dom should be a food commercial. <laughs> Making everybody hungry. I'm reading all the chat. <laughs> Yay, Sunday! Yay, Sunday! <clears throat> Hi, kitty kitties. My cats think I'm crazy. They're like, why, why do you go from sleeping and jumping up and down like you're all crazy? It's because it's what I do, cats! It's what I do! <laughs> so how about you guys? How was your night? How are you guys doing? How is everything going on in the land of my fans? Are you guys having a good day today? You guys having a good Sunday? Did you have a good Saturday? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Paul says, sounds good. Sorry, why are you sorry, Paul? There ain't no reason to be sorry on Domination Reading Channel. It's only reasons to be happy. Ooh, it says, my current bit rate is lower than the recommended bit rate. We recommend that you use a st stream bit rate of 400 or 4500 KBS. I don't know what that means. I, I don't stream at anything. I just either stream or don't stream. Let's see, is there a way to change this? Let's see. Hmm, let's see. Let's go to low latency. Is that what does it? I can't do that right now. I can't do it midstream. So next stream, I use low latency and see if that uh, that helps. We'll see if that fixes things up. Because normally it says, yeah, it says stream is healthy at 739. So yeah, we'll do it. It's just a stream, 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 blah, 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 stream status is good. Good. Andre says, awesome, thanks. Jazzy says, I feel cute. Dresses for church. Aw, Jazzy dressed all cute. Paul says, my night was amazing. Yeah, Paul. I like it. I like it. So yesterday, also, if you guys noticed, for my uh, game, I gamed yesterday for three hours. We gamed playing that new game, uh, League of Maidens. Um, I got mixed feelings, I'll be honest with you. I like the game. It was kind of fun. Um, if you ignore all the uh, fan service, it was even more fun. I did not like that the tutorial took me about an hour to get through. But um, I don't think I'm going to be playing it very much. Reason being is because it's just a one-player game. I wanted it to be like it was City of Heroes and City of Villains where it's multi massive online. Where it's everybody playing together. But if it's just a, a one-person game, I'm like, oh, I, I can play one-person games anytime. I don't need to... That's not what I'm looking for. I want to play with a bunch of people all at once, not just by myself. I don't want to be like the kid in the corner playing by himself. Hey, Scotty, good morning. How are you? Nice to see ya. Welcome back, Scotty, 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 Scotty. So, yeah. So, that was it. But uh, we played uh, League of Maidens for three hours. That was pretty entertaining. I'm trying to find my, my Steam health. Is, uh, it was my anal is analytics. There we go. So I can see how many people. Oh, we got eight people in here right now. Eight people listen to Domination tell about his night. <laughs> eight people playing together, hanging out, talking, it's community, doing a community thing. So um, how's the music? You guys hear the music all right? Music good? Hey, why did everyone stop talking? Hey! Hey, where's all my friends? Start talking right now. <laughs> Stop talking or else. All right, Paul says maybe later in the game it is multiplayer. Uh, Paul, they said that they uh, they they said that they could and might put in a multiplayer later, but who knows when that'll be? Maybe that'll be next year. Maybe they'll never get to it. Who knows? The game could be absolutely be multiplayer. It's just like City of Heroes, so City of Heroes is all multiplayer. But the fact that it's not multiplayer right now. It doesn't make me very interested. Doesn't make me very interested. Sorry to say. Uh, Jay says no, I can't hear it, but it's it's fine. Oh, let me you talking about the music. Let me turn that up a little bit for you. Then thank you for pointing that out. Thank you, Jazzy. Thank you, Jazzy. There you go. I got some more music for you guys. There it is. Sorry, Keeper says I died inside. <laughs> <laughs> you want to die inside? Okay, I'll give you a reason to die inside. All right, Friday. Friday. I I order. I like to order food every couple weeks from something called HelloFresh. Okay, they're not a sponsor, so I'm not really gonna promote them a lot. They haven't even offered to sponsor me. Sad face. I have no sponsors. I would love to have a sponsor, but anyways, I do order from HelloFresh, and the reason is is because it's convenient. 
Um, I got to the point where I, I ran out of meals, if that makes sense. Like, do you ever get sick of just like being like, oh, it's it's Friday spaghetti. Oh, it's 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 Wednesday fish. You know, when it's like it feels like you're eating the same like ten meals. It's like okay, I really don't want to do you know chicken fried chicken again. For, it's just like every day. It's just like. Oh, I'm so sick of eating meatloaf every couple days, or yay, it's pizza night. Ugh, yay. You know, it gets bland. And so, I wanted to find a way to break that cycle. Like, oh, yay, lasagna. Even though I like lasagna, it's like, okay, it's once a week, we have lasagna. Once a week, we have chicken fingers. Once a week, we have a pizza. It's just, it's, it gets boring. Honestly, it does. So, I decided... <clears throat> I want to start ordering from places like HelloFresh because they have different meals and they'll, they they have stuff that I've never had before or at least combinations of stuff I never had before, you know. So you can like just pick three meals and I pick three meals and it's, I try and pick stuff that I've never really had or haven't had in a long time. So when my HelloFresh gets here, it's always like stuff I don't know. It won't be like regular lasagna. It won't be just you know regular pizza. It'll be something you know what I'm saying. Different, different. Maybe a different culture, maybe a different, you know, style, something different. And, uh, anyways, so I got this on one packet that had been sitting in my fridge for two weeks. And what is it? It's like crushed lemon, onion, crushed lemon, onion, garlic, chicken with uh, asparagus and um, garlic butter rolls or something like that. And that's cool because, you know, you, you have chicken. I like chicken, but to have it this this way in this style was something kind of new. So I was kind of looking forward to it, but it'd been two weeks since I ordered it because just life, right? And it's in a brown bag and it just sits in my fridge and I'm like, I need to eat that one of these days. Well, Friday was the day to eat it. Friday was the day to eat it. And I like HelloFresh and stuff like that because I like to cook. I like that I can be lazy, as in they buy all the ingredients, they send everything in one brown bag. And all I do is, is cook it and prepare it the way they tell me to cook it and prepare it. And I got this really cool Japanese steak knife, too. So it's it's for cutting and chopping. And so I get to use that whenever I, whenever I use their food. So that always gives me an excuse to use my really awesome-looking Japanese knife. Maybe I'll show you guys a picture. It's really cool. Uh, anyways, so I, um, I'm like, two weeks is a little bit of a long time for it to sit in my fridge, but maybe it'll be okay. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I want to see what this tastes like. I guess it's even got onions in there, so... What it is, is you get the chicken, and you got to uh, take it out of the freezer, let it thaw, and then uh, dry it off, which I do. But the chicken doesn't look right. Sad face already, the chicken doesn't look right. Uh, it's got, like, clearness almost on it. So you could tell it's not, like, it's not bad, and you could probably cook it and get better, but I don't want to risk it. I never want to risk, you know, bad chicken. So I got my, uh, my cooking scissors, and I cut off all the bad-looking parts. And now it still looks okay. It looks a lot better, especially since I cut off all the bad parts. I'm like, okay, I can cook it now. It'll be fine. And I'm sure it would absolutely be fine. And then the next couple steps are stuffs like uh, rubbing honey mustard on top of it, salt and peppering it, taking a bag of, um, of um, dehydrated onions and crushing them up and spreading dehydrated onions all over the chicken. And then um, spreading some kind of um, seasoning on the chicken. And then putting it inside the uh, a metal pan inside the uh, oven, and then it's supposed to cook like that. And I'm like, ooh, ooh this is gonna be good because you can't even see the chicken at this point. The chicken is completely covered by crushed onions and all kinds of spices and stuff. And I'm like, oh, this is gonna be so good. This is gonna be delicious. I'm looking forward to this. Then um, while the chicken's cooking, I gotta open up the bag of asparagus. So I do that, and I'm gonna wash it off, clean it, and the asparagus is completely moldy. I'm like, no, no, I don't really like asparagus, but uh, I don't really like asparagus, but I don't mind fried asparagus. That would have tasted pretty good, but I obviously can't eat if it's moldy, so I throw it away, and I'm like, okay, what's the next step? Now, the next step is they give you this, this, this roll. It's like a square bread that's really soft, Okay, so what you do is you take a bowl, and you put in some butter. And you spray in some, or you uh, sprinkle in some garlic and some onion, and uh, you uh, let it all melt, and then you put the bread 
into this mixture and so you coat it it's wow thick and looks delicious and then you put it in the oven right so I go ahead and I do that so now I got the chicken in the oven I got the bread that's coated in the stuff cheese too in the oven and I'm like oh I can't wait until this is done to eat this okay everything's looking good everything's fine right so it cooks and my timer don't go off my timer don't go off and I'm like smelling it and I'm like ooh this smells good ooh this smells good and then okay wait wait a second why did my timer go off so I rush into the kitchen I open up the oven and the bread is burnt I'm like no the bread was looking great but that was burnt ah! okay fine I, I, I can't eat the bread sad face throw the bread away I get the chicken I pull the chicken out and I'm like okay this is gonna be the highlight of my meal it smells so good oh my gee it smells like there's something about the the onions and the spices and the salt and the pepper and the way it went into the chicken it smells like I need to eat this and I cannot wait to eat this right so I take it out of thing I put it on the plate and I stick my fork in it and water comes out water comes out and I'm like why is there water coming out of my chicken I take my knife I cut it in half and the inside of the chicken is mold yep the outside looks all delicious and crispy the inside is mold so with a heavy heart and a sad face and, and, and the sound of Viking burial music in the back of my mind I throw the chicken in the garbage hey Thomas how you doing welcome back I throw this delicious delicious smelling chicken in the garbage now I'm domination reading channel guys even though bad stuff happens I still keep a silver lying I still stay positive let me tell you how we stayed positive okay let me tell you first off I had some uh, honey based chicken fingers in my fridge honey based chicken fingers in my fridge what that is is it's chicken fingers that have been rolled around in honey and something else and breaded and then frozen and what I do is I take like six or seven of those and I put them in my air fryer for nine minutes and they come out delicious so I still had backup food we're good it was good we still had backup food but here's the silver lining silver lining is even right now right now at this moment it's Sunday this happened Friday because my delicious, delicious chicken smelt so good and sitting in my garbage can, I could smell it right now in my house because it's still sitting in my garbage can. So even though I can't eat it because it's gross, I can still smell the delicious aroma in the air right now at this moment of that delicious chicken. And it, I don't normally smell it, but when I open up my garbage can because it's got a lid on it to throw something in there, the, the smell comes out. I know it's probably not going to smell good tomorrow, and I'm surprised it still smells good today. I'm going to throw it out today. Don't worry. But uh, there's still the silver lining. I can still smell the deliciousness and wonder what it would have tasted like. <laughs> Andre says it was a slow attack. Thank you for says huge rip. <laughs> Jazzy says that's funny. I know. <laughs> so it has been a um, an interesting weekend of culinary experiences for me a very interesting weekend that's all I can really say it's been domination reading channels interesting culinary experience weekend some good some bad but all of it entertaining <laughs> and Jay says it's funny so what about you guys what did you guys do this weekend that was my weekend that was my weekend. My weekend was good. <laughs> That's not even the best part of my weekend. Nothing I've told you guys so far has been the best part of my weekend. I'll tell you guys the best part of my weekend in a second. I want to hear about your guys' weekend, and then I'll tell you my best part. The best thing that's been happening all weekend for me. I'm excited. It's It's been such an amazing weekend because... <laughs> Andre says my weekend was boring. You guys all had boring weekends? Why? You guys can make it exciting. It doesn't have to be boring. What's the matter? Why would you have bad weekends? It could be good weekends. <laughs> hey, so maybe this will help you guys. Maybe this will cheer you guys up a little bit, okay? Maybe this is this is what made my weekend so good, and it's not even done. I'm still going to have a good weekend because of it. 
My Sunday, yeah, here we are. My Sunday and my Sunday night are going to be awesome. Let me explain why. Because my absolute favorite TV show, I haven't even watched it in like two years. So I started it over again and I've been binge watching. This is what I've been doing when I haven't been streaming, when I haven't been gaming, and when I have been watching anime, I've been watching this show instead. My absolute favorite TV show. No, believe it or not, it's not The Office. Even though I like The Office, there's a show I like even better. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. A lot of it, you have to suspend disbelief a little bit because you're like, well, that's not possible, or why does that happen? And that doesn't make any sense. But, 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 oh, thank you, Jesse. The dude in it is hot. The chicks in it are hot. Okay, the storyline is great. It's got feels, it's got action, and it's got bonding, and I like it. I like it. It's got 10 seasons, guys. 10 seasons. I'm a Smallville fan. Here you go. I said it. I admit it. I, 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 I don't regret it. I regret nothing. I'm a Smallville fan. And uh, I watched Smallville when it was first out. And uh, I was watching it. And I stopped watching it. And then I started watching it. And I've never watched the whole thing from start to finish. I am now currently binge watching all of Smallville from season one through season ten. Hey, Pickler, how you doing? Welcome back. Andre says, second thought, it was good. I finally had a weekend where I finished 95, 98% of my homework. Nice. Sign Cube says, Dom, I'm sleepy. Well, too bad. Too bad if you're sleepy. You got to stay awake for a little bit longer. Uh, Jazzy says, bro, really, Dom? Hot girls? Jazzy, not just hot girls. Hot girls and hot guys. It's got both, okay? It's got both. Hot girls and hot guys. And I'm sorry. You can say whatever you want. Tom Welling is a hot dude. And I'm sorry. You can say whatever you want. But Kristen Kruick, oh my god, she is a goddess. She is a goddess, okay? Tom Welling and Kristen Kruick in the same show at the same time, that is eye candy for anybody. Anybody, it's eye candy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm watching that. Um, I, I like it. I like it. There's a lot of good dynamics. There's a lot of good stuff going on. I like that they're making Lex Luthor and, and, and Clark Kent trying to be best friends kind of storyline. There's so much good stuff happening in that show. I'm, I'm happy. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. That's my weekend. No, I am not. But, but I am an appreciation of beauty. If I see beauty, I can recognize it. Whether it's a guy or a girl or artwork or a sunset or something in the oven that smells so delicious you can smell beauty I I, uh, I can recognize beauty <laughs> I just says, it's got both Dom 2021 <laughs> I'm just saying that to each their own and 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 it's 2021 like what you like don't what you don't <laughs> And besides, with everybody wearing a mask now, and guys with long hair and girls with short hair, sometimes you can't tell. Sometimes you can't tell, okay? The mask covers up so much of your face, you can't tell. <laughs> what about when it's wintertime and everybody was wearing a big coat? So everyone looks at Drotomanus, you don't know what they are underneath. All you see is a big fluffy coat, a mask, eyes, and, and, and hair that's either long or short. You don't know. You can't be like, whew. Damn, look at that coat. <laughs> look at that body with no definition. Mm -hmm. You don't know. <laughs> yep, guys, it's a Sunday. This is how we are on Sundays. We are weird. Deal with it. <laughs> this is probably why everyone shows up on the Sunday streams, because it's weird and it's fun. <laughs> it's what we do. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, how long have we been streaming for? Because this is supposed to be a five or a half an hour stream. I think we've gone over the half an hour. Uh, ooh, we have. It's been 36 minutes. We've got six minutes over. You guys got me talking enough to go over the time limit. I like it. I like it. 
We only got seven people in here, though. It's too bad. If we had more people, I'd do a long stream for you guys. Like, I'm in the mood to do a long stream, but if there's nobody here, that's too bad. That is unfortunate, because I, like, I would like that today. Uh, <laughs> he's laughing. Paul says, bye. Are you leaving already, Paul? Are you leaving, Paul? I wasn't going to leave just yet. I was going to give you guys a few more minutes of hanging out together. Jazz says, no, long. Andre says, there shall be no time limits. Andre says, we must go on. Um, if we had more people, guys, I would. I really would. Honestly. Um, I am definitely in the mood to do more streaming today. Um, but you guys know how it is with only seven people. It's kind of rough. Um, we don't even have 10 people. We don't even have 10 people to go an hour. Because, you know, we need 10 people for an hour. Jazz says, yes, there shall not be a time limit. But there is. There is. Oh, we got eight people. Eight people. Maybe you guys are going to try and push it to an hour. So what you guys are trying to do? Try and push it to an hour? Because we're at 38 minutes right now. You guys trying to get an extra 22 minutes out of me? Is that what you guys are doing? I'll tell you guys another story. I got another story for you guys. Another TV story. <laughs> <laughs> Another TV story for you. Jazzy says there shall be no, there shall no be, <laughs> there shall no be a time limit. <laughs> Sign keeper says peanut butter. What? What about t peanut butter? Sad lesbian. That's May. May May. What are you doing? Why are you a sad lesbian? Hi May. Nice to see you. May. Why are you? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? How how can you be a how can how does that even exist? That's like an oxymoron. How can you be a sad lesbian? I don't I don't understand that. Andre says no time limit. Jazzy laughs. Jay says where did that come from? Andre says tell me all the stories. <laughs> oh guys, we dropped down to six people. We dropped down to six people. I'll tell you what. If I was a lesbian, I would not be sad. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there would be reasons to be sad, but I would still make sure I was happy if I was a lesbian. <laughs> oh, you're lonely. Why are you lonely? Why are you lonely? You shouldn't be lonely. I'm here. I'm your friend. You can message me anytime. I'm here for you. Our community is here for you. You have a whole bunch of people that think you're awesome. I think you're awesome. You don't have to be lonely. Jazzy says, me too. No, Jazzy, no! 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 Sign Cuber says, I don't know, I just want a conversation going. <laughs> I understand, Sign, I understand. Actually, I'm lonely too. That's one of the reasons I do my stream, because you guys keep me company, so I'm not as lonely. So thank you, guys. Um, May says, and it makes me sad. I don't want you sad. No sad, May. May! No sad. Cheer May May up. My girlfriend moved to Canada. Aww. Hey, but you see, that's kind of like the opposite. Most of the time, guys fake a Canadian girlfriend. They pretend, like, oh, yeah, I got a girlfriend. Oh, you wouldn't know her. She's from Canada. Yeah, she's hot. Yeah. No, nah, but, yeah, you wouldn't know her. No, nah, nah, she, she lives in Canada. You're lying. You're lying, bro. We don't believe you. May has got the exact opposite. She's like, I've got a girlfriend that moved to Canada. <laughs> Aww. Uh... Andre says, oh no, Jazzy says, not when I'm here though, yay Jazzy, we'll keep Jazzy entertained and happy, woo! Jasmine says, my partner broke up with me, I know, you said that the other day, Jazzy, it's like the season of people breaking up, I don't know what it is, it's like the, the, the pandemic is like starting to get over, people are starting to get out and leave their houses, so they're starting to move on, it's like, yeah, we were together for the pandemic, but now I've got options. And then they're all going to regret it later. Like, oh, I shouldn't have explored those options. I should have stayed with Mei Mei. Or I should have stayed with Jazzy. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Let's go eat some pizza. <laughs> Andre says, sending all the loves. Oh, there's all the loves for all of you. Andre is sending out the loves. <clears throat> so, so, so. If you guys don't know this, let me tell you guys about something that's pretty interesting. There's a channel out there called Domination Reading Channel. I know, big surprise, 
big surprise. He has a Discord where you can go into Discord and chat and have a good time. You can be around other people that like the same stuff that you like and he likes, and you can talk to people, get your mind off stuff. He also has 6,400 videos that you can laugh and have a good time watching. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He's kind of crazy when he plays video games, especially his older videos. Or you can listen to books, classic books, Percy Jackson books. Uh, May says, we're still together, but my anxiety makes it hard long-distance relationships. I know, May. I'm sorry. It's tough. I tried to do that before too. I tried to have a Canadian girlfriend. She came. To, she uh, she lived in New York half half the time with her uh, dad, and the other half, or no, half the time with her mom in Canada in uh, New York, and the other half with her dad in Canada. And I'd see her every time she was in New York, and we'd hang out, and then she'd go back to Canada, and I wouldn't see her. And it was tough. It was real tough. Long distance relationships really don't work. I don't want to say that and hurt anybody's feelings, but people need physical contact. People need closeness. And, and you need that human touch. It's just, it's so hard, especially the older you get and trust issues start to happen. It's just, it's tough. You know, hormones happen, physical touch happens or doesn't happen. Long distance relationships are tough. I, I wish you the best of luck. I really do. You're a nice person. You're a good person. You're an intelligent person. I, 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 I wish for you to be happy. I hope it works for you. Andre says, oh my, haven't heard of them. Jazzy says, I don't have Discord. Andre says, oh wow, this Domination Reading Channel sounds like an amazing person. Adi is here! Adi says, hi! Hi, it is Adi! Hello, everybody! Adi! Uh, Dermov is here, says, hey, Emma! Hey, Emma, how you doing? Actually, um, one of these days, I'm going to get Adi's mom. I'm going to get Adi's mom to give me a shout-out. Because I already know what it's going to sound like. I already know what it's going to look like. It just feels like my channel is missing a little something, and that's what it's missing. A sign keeper says, I have a girlfriend in Canada, and I'm the boyfriend in New York. <laughs> wow. That's that's pretty interesting. That's pretty close to what I went through. Very cool. Very cool. I um, I already know what the shout-out's going to sound like exactly, too. We're going to get Adi's mom to uh to, 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 to promote me. And it's going to be something like this. Hello! I am Adi's mom! Adi! Adi! You watch this channel! You watch it! It's good! It's Fabi Friendly that teaches you stuff! You watch this channel right now, Adi. That's what it's gonna sound like. <laughs> Drum says, "I'm fine, dude. How are you? I'm fantastical, fantastical today." Uh -huh. Jazzy says, "I have this wanting. I want it to happen so badly. Uh, I want to be cuddled by someone that I love more than a friend or family." Oh. That's a sweet dream. I like it. It'll happen. It's a good one. It'll happen. Just give it some time. It's definitely going to happen. I'm just checking the time right now. Oof. Wow. We went way over. We went way over, guys. It's supposed to be 30 minutes. It's been 45 minutes. 45 minutes with you awesome people. Scotty says, I've never had a girlfriend. Well, Scotty, whether you have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or both, I'm telling you, you are pretty cool. And I think you're, whoever you decide to partner up with is going to be happy. Because I think you're going to be awesome to them. And they will be like, damn, Scotty. Scotty, you're cool. <laughs> and then everything will be happy. <laughs> uh, Jazzy says, I've never had a boyfriend. Well, same thing with you, Jazzy. I think when you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or both, they're going to be like, Ah, oh, <laughs> Jazzy, she's so cool. Uh, Drum says, Bye then. Bye, you just got here. You just got here. You said hi, and now you're saying bye? You don't want to hang out with this, Drum? You don't want to hang out with these awesome people? We're almost done with the stream. We actually stayed 15 minutes or 16 minutes longer. Andre says, no time limits. We don't got enough people, Andre. We don't. We need more people. You guys know I need more people to do the longer streams. More people equals longer streams. That's how it goes. So you got to tell people. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your friends' friends. 
<laughs> like I always say, you know those kids that you bully? Tell those kids to watch this channel. You know those people that bully you? Tell your bullies to come watch this channel. <laughs> Why do I feel like you're a bully, Andre? Have you ever bullied somebody before, Andre? I don't think like you're the classical bully where you bully a lot of people. But I think there's like one person in your life that you just bully. It's probably a family member. Andre, tell us the truth. Do you have a do you have somebody that you bully? I want I want to hear it. Andre? Andre, come on. We need to know this. This is information we need to know. Jazzy says toots. Come on, Andre. You said nod. No, Andre. Andre, do you have a younger brother that you bully? Or is it something that you don't consider bullying but they do? Uh, Sign Cuber says, I have two girlfriends and a boyfriend. Woo, Sign Cuber, play in the field. Play in the field like an all-star baseball player. Andre says, hmm. Uh, Drub says, yes, I want to hang out. Yay, whoo. <laughs> well, we'll keep the stream going for a couple more minutes. A couple more minutes, guys, because uh, you guys are awesome, and I like spending Sundays with you. Uh, Andre says, probably in my family. <laughs> Well, Andre, I think you're pretty awesome, and thank you for not bullying me. I, I appreciate you not bullying me. That makes me like you even more, Andre, that you don't bully me. Uh, Andre says, my older brother, I think. <laughs> you, <laughs> that's funny. The music's not bad. The music's kind of chill today. Drum says, yes! Jazzy says, because I love you inf for infinity, infinity and beyond. Andre says, my goal is to harass his soul every time I get. <laughs> Jazzy says, oh, oh, oh. May says, I'm back. Welcome back, May. Hugs for May. Everybody, let's give May some hugs. May needs some hugs. We're going to give out two hugs. May gets hugs and Jazzy gets hugs. Drum says, did you used to be prey or predator at school? I was a football player who who was a nerd. I was the nerdy, nerdy football player. That was me. Cyan Keeper says, I'm too Nico to bully people. I believe you, Cyan. I believe you. I'm not surprised that Andre's goal is to harass his brother's soul every time he gets a chance. <laughs> Andre is like one of those awesome, cool people that has like the dark secret. And you always want to know what that dark secret is. That's Andre's dark secret. He torments his brother's soul. <laughs> See, I don't just read books. I read people, too. Ha-ha! <laughs> Jazzy says, I love you for infinity. Uh-uh-oh. Uh, See, uh, uh, May says, I don't like human contact, so no thanks. <laughs> Andre says, yes. Jeff says, no, Jubilee or get bullied. Tell us your secret. Um, actually, I think at first I did get bullied, but the older I got and the more I played football and the more like muscles I got and more developed I got, the less I got bullied. And it stopped in like middle school or maybe high school. It just stopped. I don't know. Maybe it's because I was on the football team. I don't know. But whatever it was, it just, it just stopped. That was just life. Um, I, was, I grew up in southern Florida, though, so it wasn't really one of those things where it's like you got to worry about stuff like that all year. Uh, in southern Florida, it was more like go to school, go to the beach. Life is a little bit more chill down in Florida than it is in other places. 
Andre says, Voldy laugh. <laughs> you laugh like Voldemort. Nice. Jazzy says, No one is getting it. It's a song. I got it. That's why I sing it. Jazzy says, I'm singing a song. Jazzy says, Song. Uh, Jazzy says, or, um, May says, I know it. It's a song. Sign Keeper says, I'm the depressed one of the family. Aw. Well, I'll unpress you. I'll unpress you. Uh, like soccer football or hand football. Like hand football. I used to, I used to, my center, I'd say, hike, and he would, he would hand the ball to me, and then I'd run backwards a couple feet, and then I would throw the ball or hand it off to my running back, and then I would hope that my people in front of me would stop the other people from tackling me, and that's, that's what I did. <laughs> uh, May says, he's a Florida man. Uh, Drove says, here in India, we know soccer as football. Here in India, we know soccer as football. We like the football. I get a lot of people from India in this channel. Have you guys noticed that? A lot of my viewers are Indian. Uh, maybe not today, but normally, like on a whole, I think I have a lot of Indian viewers. I know because I like to do accents sometimes when you guys talk. And I realize that people with like Drav and Adi and others, I say I say it like this a lot. <laughs> I can't do a Canadian accent. I don't really know what a Canadian accent is. But you could tell when, when uh, because Canadians speak a lot of French. Um, well, not a lot of Canadians, but you know, whatever part of Canada you're from, you speak French. And then there's people that speak no French in Canada. And then there's people in the middle that speak a little bit. So I think when I talk to Canadian people, I can tell because they sometimes draw out the last little bit of their sentence. Not in like the perky, like, um, prep girl kind of talk, like, like this, and they put a crash mark on the end of their sentence, and they're talking about stuff, and they're reading books. Not like that. But it's more like, um, I had a Dr. Pepper today. So they kind of just draw out the last little bit, but not like obnoxiously. Like you say, um, I read some books today. I read some books today. Kind of like that kind of thing. I don't know. It just sounds nice to me. Um, let's see. Scotty says soccer equals football. Joe says, how many languages do you know? Um, I, I always tell people. I always tell people I speak two languages. I speak good English and bad English. <laughs> Gamer Harry Potter says, I can't wait for Friday. What happens Friday, Gamer Harry Potter? Gamer Harry Potter says, I speak at least three languages. Nice. Sign Keeper says, I can speak like a retard. Oh my. Gamer Harry Potter says, new episode of WandaVision, the finale. Ugh. I'm not excited for WandaVision. Sorry. I mean, I heard it got better, but after the first two episodes, I was like, <laughs> it's so bad. I wanted to puke in my mouth. Now everybody keeps telling me, oh, it gets better. Wait till episode five or six. Yeah, but maybe I don't want to sit around for four or five episodes for a show to get better. Maybe I don't want to spend four or five hours not liking something just to see if it gets better. <laughs> I watched that first episode. <laughs> nope. Nope. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, Andre says, what? Uh, May says March 21st is going to be the best. March 26th is going to be my best because March 26th is my birthday. Drove says me five mainly Indian languages. Wow. Andre says oh yeah why it's so good. Why it's so good and so sad because the first few episodes. Andre I watched the first episode. This is me. Happy face yay. Happy face. Marvel put out a new TV show with characters I like. Yay, it's got uh, Scarlet Witch in it. Yay, it's got Vision. I can't wait to watch it. Oh, now I'm watching it. This is so... What is this? Okay, it's kind of boring. Um, okay, it's really lame. 
Uh, am I watching like a bad episode of Leave It to Beaver? Ugh, this is bad. Oh, I can't even. Ugh, I don't want to watch the rest. It's so horrible. I will force my way through it. Okay, maybe it'll get better. Okay, we're in the middle of the episode. Ugh, oh, it's bad. Okay, wait, wait. Here's the end of the episode. Maybe it'll get really good at the end of the episode. Here we go. Grand finale of the episode. Ugh, oh, it's horrible. Yay. I just wasted time. That was horrible. It's very bad. Let's do the exact same thing for the second episode. And I did, and it was just as bad. So now what everyone else is telling me is, oh, you have to do that three more times to be able to enjoy this show. What? You have to do that three more times. Live through the excruciating agony of a horrible TV show three more times for it to get good. Yeah, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. Andre says, I can't feel you. <laughs> Sorry, Andre. Sorry, <laughs> I tried. It was just that bad. Uh, May says, March 21st is my birthday. May, your, your birthday's five days before mine. Congratulations. Scotty says, I got to pick my GCSEs by the 15th of March. Ooh, oof. Tough choices, tough choices. Sign Keeper says, cool. Drove says, oh, yes, I actually hated it. I was expecting so much. Same with me, Drove. Same with me. But everyone's like, oh, it gets so good in, like, episode 5 and 6, and it probably does. Everyone agrees on that point. Everyone says the show gets great, and you want to keep watching it. But I don't feel like going through five episodes of garbage to find the gem. I don't. It makes me feel like, you know, I went to the, to the, to the sewer, and I dug through poop and goo and slime just to find someone's wedding ring at the bottom of the well. I mean, yay, I got a wedding ring, but I also had to spend, you know, five episodes of crap trying to find it. Uh, so I'll, I'll just read about it, about other people's enjoyment, and other people will tell me the story and the good stuff, and I will live vicariously through their good points. Uh, Science Keeper says, I don't want to be 18. Aww. Jove says, I saw half. Jazzy says, bro, stop gagging. I'm a gag. <laughs> then don't watch it. Or else you'll be like, Hur, uh, uh. right here. Hur, uh, uh. That's what you'll be like. <laughs> uh, John says, if you puke three more times, you'll be literally faint. Andre says, no, Dom, that's the one that wants to dead vision. Oh, I know, Andre. I know. Everyone agrees that it gets better. Every single person I've ever talked to about this show says it gets very good. So it probably, I believe them. It probably does. Probably does. Um, Jazzy says, my birthday is October 2nd. Ooh, cool. I remember. Um, Drop says, oh, I was just playing along. What are we talking about? <laughs> We're talking about WandaVision. That's it? No answer? I, I see how it is. Oh, you guys just reminded me. No one was talking, so it reminded me to go check out our time. Ooh, we're at one one hour, guys. One hour. One hour. We did it. Six viewers. One hour. Woo, 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 woo. Uh, we don't have enough people to keep the stream going, guys. I really want to. I'm having a really good time just sitting and chilling and talking to you. This has been a pretty chill stream. This has been a pretty nice one where we just sit around and just chat like this. I like it. There's just something really nice on a Sunday to just be surrounded by friends, talking and listening to music. You know, it, it feels good. It really does. No judgments, no anything. It's a safe zone. We can just be here and relax together, completely be ourselves and just chat. And I like this. This is really nice. This is really nice. Drove says, game show or anime or cartoon or something else. It's just a regular TV show, Drove. May says, you have nothing to do. You can stay. But uh, there's just not enough people, May. Eh? There's not enough. It's a lot of work to keep it going. Uh, sign Keeper says, I stayed the whole time. You did, Sign Keeper. Good job, buddy. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Good job. Sign Keeper, everybody, let's give Sign Keeper. You know what Sign Keeper needs? You know what Sign Keeper has not had that he needs? Sign Keeper needs some hugs. 
Let's hug pile Cy and Cuber. Hugs for Cy and Cuber! Hug, 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 hug! And they're virtual hugs, so even if you don't like human contact, may. Even if you don't like human contact, you can still send them virtual hugs. Virtual hug, Cy and Cuber! Hug, 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 hug! Drop says, oh, I, I know. Okay. <laughs> So that's how we'll end the stream. We'll end the stream giving Zion Cuber some virtual hugs. Lots of virtual hugs for Zion Cuber. <laughs> Who, by the way, is yellow now, which I approve of. You are green with a yellow symbol. I like that a lot. It looks really good on you, so good job. Other than that, guys, this has been a nice time. I had a good time with you guys. Um, I do plan on probably doing another stream tonight. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to, but I'm thinking about it. So if you guys are around, stay tuned. Um, I'll let you know on Discord before I do. Uh, it looks like my notifications have been going out again. So you guys are getting notifications again, hopefully. There we go. There's all the hugs for Cyan Cuber. I like it. Thank you, Meme. Thank you, Andre. So um, just so you guys know, there might be another stream tonight because you guys are great. And <laughs> Jeff says, and for me too. Aw. So I want to say thank you guys for showing up. It's a Sunday. You guys are awesome. You guys really do make my Sundays better. Thank you for that. Just nice to hang out with you guys. You guys are a really good community, a really good group of people. And the more we can get together like this, just the better the day feels for the whole day. So thank you for that. Um, anyways, you guys, this has been Domination Arena Channel's live Sunday podcast. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your time. You guys really do really brighten my day. And I appreciate that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, end it with the Teehee Wall. I am shutting off my bots right now. Let's see if we can, how quickly we can get a wall of teehee. You guys ready? I'm going to go ahead and say it, and then we'll see if we can get our wall. Because our wall of teehee looks awesome. Like, seriously, our wall of teehee looks great. So you guys ready? Ready for this? Get ready. Get pumped. Get excited. Let's get a wall of teehee going. Ready? One, two, three, everybody. Thank you for watching the Domination Media Channel. Teehee! Stay tuned tomorrow when we read the next chapter of the tyrant's tomb because it is great everyone gets their huggles everybody let's put up that wall let's tee -hee it up spam that tee -hee button tee -hee, everybody yay where's the tee -hees at i want to see that wall yeah there it goes may may started it out with the tees come on let's get the wall everybody tee -hee it up tee -hee. let's go there it goes we're building a wall we're teeing it together. I like it. Woo, there it goes. It's growing. The wall's getting there. We're going to have a whole wall of tees, everybody. I like it. Yeah, there we go. Everybody all together now. Tee it up. Tee it's going, it's going. We're going to have a whole wall. This is a bigger wall than normal, so we got to get it all the way to the top. We got to reach it. We can do it together. The wall of the tee is fun, it's exciting, I love seeing it. There we go, everybody's joining in now. That's what I was waiting for. There we go, everybody in the room is throwing in their tees. All of you are doing it. There we go, we got a full wall of tees. Woo, congratulations everybody. Thank you for watching Domination Reading Channel. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys, tee -hee.